this video, I want to show you my uh, fully 3D printed RC boat and my RC outboard design uh, that I've been working on for quite a long time now. Um, I just want to show you the hole here and there's the outboard itself. So it's got a uh, 3650, uh, 3900 kV brushless motor in it. Uh, it draws about 60 to 80 amps um, and it can do up to a three cell lipo. So this is the, the boat I've designed. It's about a 27 inch hull, fully 3D printed in three different sections. Um, in there you can see uh, all the electronics. You can see the servo horn. It uses only one servo to uh, control uh, the motor direction. And then I'll fire it up here and listen to this. turn off the uh, ESC and I'll undo this cover so it's got kind of like a, a waterproof hatch on there that you can uh, screw on this cover and that gets you to the all the electronics so you can see um, I've got my transmitter or my receiver rather I've got my ESC right there my single servo and then so you can see it moving right there it gives me about 45 degrees either direction and then I'm doing most of my testing uh, with a two cell lipo just to see and see how it uh, it handles the power. Um, I also have a 3S I'm doing a little bit of testing on. On the back of the boat, um, I did a lot of testing and I found that the not having trim tabs really <laughs> poorly affected the, uh, the handling of the boat. So I've just got my own, you know, the pieces of a uh, thin gauge stainless steel plate that I've got on there um, so those I can bend and adjust those depending on you know how the boat's handling that day and the waves and all that so it actually makes a huge difference on on performance and then so now you can see the uh, lower unit of the outboard so you can see that's the uh, horizontal output shaft I'm going to uh, show you how it, everything goes together on the outboard um, I, I modeled this after a Mercury 400 racing engine, um, one of the most high performance engines that they make. So I thought it was cool to kind of go after that design. And you can see on the side, it says the Racing 400, and that's the same kind of logo that they put on their engine. Um, I'm struggling here to take off the, the cowling, but it's essentially held on with uh, six neodymium magnets that are embedded into that um, co uh, cowling. And then you can see the motor there. Like I said, it's a 3650 size, 3900 kV. Um, pretty powerful little motor for this thing. And then as far as like a shaft coupler, I make my, I 3D print my own. Um, there's a set screw on it that allows me to attach it to the motor shaft. The teeth on the uh, shaft coupler, so kind of like a finger joint where the uh, teeth interlock each other. And um, it's a lot, it allows there to be misalignment between the motor shaft and the vertical uh, housing shaft. So that way you don't have to do any, you know, fine tuning of the alignment. I have a, a little screw that keeps this cover on so I can get at the gears. And right there you can see I've got some very small um, precision cut bevel gears that I've gotten offline. And so there you can see that horizontal shaft going up to where the, uh, the motor coupler is. I'm running only like a 32 millimeter diameter um, uh, prop. I think it's a 1.4 uh, inch pitch. And you can see the motor is just a friction fit inside of the housing. So I align the uh, couplers and then I can press it in. And then I can take the, uh, the cowling and slide it over the, uh, the brushless motor wires and put it all back together. So I tried to design this thing to be, you know, easy to disassemble and easy to do maintenance on, you know, so you can get at bearings if you got to lubricate stuff or something blows up <laughs> or something grenades on the inside. So, and then you can slide the uh, motor cowling back over the top there. And then the magnets just kind of lock everything in place. And so it does auto alignment. So it's pretty, I think it's pretty slick. Um, 
still making a lot of modifications, but in this video, I want to show you some of the uh, some of the performance, and I'll show you some of the the on water testing uh, that I did, and I even got some video footage with a GoPro mounted to the boat. So hopefully that'll be cool for you. Hope you like it.